Okay guys, this is part three of Tyco and AFX track. And I just want to show you here, uh, for those who maybe consider AFX, that's about the one that's currently still in business and they're still producing race car tracks, sets, and accessories. So I guess you have to ask yourself your question here. If you're thinking about getting an uh, HO scale slot car track is, well, what do you want? If you want, I guess, say like four lane racing, well, this will probably be the one for you as AFX because they offer a lot of accessories to do so. Uh, they actually do make a race set of uh, four cars on um, four lanes of track racing. And um, I'll try to um, try to find a link for that one on eBay and show you how much it is. Uh, for those maybe considering this, so this is what this uh, video is kind of dedicated to about. And the reason why I say AFX is quite simple. A lot of options they can do here. Now what you see here is four slot cars here. And start off the one here. These are homemade body ones. That one's a Tyco. And that one is AFX. Now as you look here, I'm going to move it here. Just kind of show you this AFX track. Like I said before in the first video, the uh, one on the left there when you make your homemade bodies not much of a gap there. There is some gap, but sometimes the cars do rub against each other. Where if you have a Tyco and AFX, um, you still have a pretty good gap there. And you can run Tyco on AFX track or vice versa. You can run AFX on Tyco track as well. Now I want to show you here, right here are the two terminals. This one here and that one there. That powers each lane, so you have a lot of power. Now, what you see is two arrows there. You see this one arrow going this way. Uh, that means it's going that direction. And then the other one here has got an arrow going that direction. And that's how you do your four lane racing. So you can put the other terminal track on the other side of it. And then you just turn these to go the other direction. And you have your, you know, your handles and everything. And that's how you do it. So I'm going to show you here as an example. And or that down okay I'm gonna go ahead and move these two cars out of the way and I'll show you the direction um, this one here I believe it's this lane here yep just show you it goes in that direction okay and the other one goes in the other direction like that so I just wanted to show you that now what you can do we just take this one out you turn it over that arrow goes this way now I'll turn the car the other way around, and there you go. So that's what pretty interesting, and that's one thing, options that AFX you want to have there. Now as you look at the power packs, this AFX one, and I'm going to move this over here. Okay, this is AFX. Now the options on this here, you do have intermediate, you have a beginner speed, intermediate, intermediate uh, speed, expert speed on here it's set on expert so that's kind of full blast the middle of it of course is mid speed and the beginner speed is, is um, real slow speed so depending if you got kids or something and that way won't, cars won't keep flying off the track you can change the speeds on there so um, that's why I just want to show you about that for AFX and you know AFX to me I like it and stuff but I got so much Tyco track and also too I like doing the um, getting homemade bodies sent to me and stuff. Uh, that's why I kind of went with Tyco. Where if AFX, I mean, if you got standard bodies, a Tyco's an AFX, and you might go AFX. They offer a lot of different options of accessories that you can do. Uh, you can go to the AFX site and check it out. I will put a link for that. So that way you can look at it and explore your options there. Um, Tyco did have a few accessories. But like I said, Tyco's been out of business for quite a few years, well over a decade now. And, um, you know, that stuff, you're just going to have to look at hobby stores or online to find that stuff. And most majority of stuff could be used stuff. So you kind of have to watch out what you're looking for on there and stuff. Um, also, too, AFX, still making parts for their AFX cars. So you can find those as well. And also, too, I just wanted to show you this. So this way, if you are really um, considering if you um, what route you want to go to, but like I said, if you're uh, 
kind of a guy who likes to build bodies and cars. Um, again, um, you might consider the Tyco track as just a little bit wider. And um, that's really about it. I just want to show you that, the differences about that, by going AFX. Um, to me, yes, if you want to get started in that, I think this would be a good way for you to do so. It just kind of depends what you really do want. Uh, you know, like I said, if you want four lane racing, go with AFX. If you like to build build bodies of cars, and go Tyco because Tyco's a little bit wider of a track. Or three is you just want to get into it, and you kind of want to build a nice little um, race set on your table, uh, like a road course or something. Um, I'd probably go AFX because they do offer more options. And like I said towards the end here. I will post a link for AFX and you can check it out. Also too, if I can find that four lane race set by AFX, I'll try to put a link to that. I believe I've seen some on eBay, but I will just try to put a link there what the set looks like. So that way, you know, depending on what you want to look at for HO scale, which is really 164 scale, that way you can make your decision what you want to do. Okay guys, that's all I just want to show you for today. You guys, you have a great day. Take care.